Okay, we're here to look at the new Criterion release for Monty Hellman's classic westerns, The Shooting and Ride in the Whirlwind. I always tend to want to call it Ride into the Whirlwind, but it's called Ride in the Whirlwind. Um, here's the cover. It's quite a nice cover from Criterion, as per usual. Now, it's a single disc release, uh, but it has a, has, a, has a good bit rate. It's dual layered disc. Both films were shot at the same time originally, uh, back to back, um, both Jack Nicholson in them. One was written by Jack Nicholson, and uh, they have had this pretty much the same crew overlapping for both shoots, so they look very similar. They're shot in the same aspect ratio, 1.85 to 1. I used to have this set on DVD, but uh, they were unfortunately full frame, um, and uh, they were quite frustrating because the credit sequences were in uh, widescreen, at least on the shooting and then it would just drop out to full frame once the credits were over. I'm just going to show you the inside first before I talk about the extras. Now, it has a booklet like all Criterion releases, but this one is a little different. It's a fold-out. I actually prefer the normal booklets they do. But it has quite a bit of uh, writing on there. It's an essay from uh, Michael Atkinson. Now the picture itself is uh, is really good. I'll, I'll read you what it says about the production of the uh, the transfer. It says, uh, supervised by director Monty Hellman, these new digital transfers were created in 4K resolution on a scantily film scanner. Uh, from the original camera negatives, thousands of instances of dirt and debris, scratches and splices, warps, jitters and flicker were manually removed using MTI's DRS and Pixel Farm's PFC or PF Clean, uh, while uh, Digital Visions Phoenix was used for small dirt, grain, and noise management. The original monaural sound tracks were remastered at 24 bits from the 35 mm magnetic tracks. Clicks, thumps, hiss, and hum and crackle were manually removed using Pro Tools. HD audio cube integrated workstation. Now with all that work you might think that it is a pristine it does look pristine and it, it is, comes close it looks excellent um, but there is the occasional speck and and, um, and line that pops up and there is a bit of erroneous uh, sort of a moving grain uh, which seems to be a little overly lively but for the most part uh, it looks excellent Got really good depth really good color um, on, this is for both films I'm talking. A surprising depth of field. I've only really seen it on some shoddy DVD uh, full frame entries and it's, uh, it's quite wonderful looking. So there's not too much, to, there's just some minor quibbles uh, but I think it's really, they put a lot of effort in here and it's probably it's the best it's ever going to look I would say uh, for a home release. Now there is also a plethora of extras a whole stack of uh, featurettes and mini featurettes. Uh, some of them are, some of them are really good, and others are are pretty minor, not 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 too great. But there's one called the House of Corman, which uh, sit down direct uh, director Marty Hellman talks with uh, Roger Corman, who produced these films. Um, but it's very brief, and uh, it doesn't really uh, tell you a lot. Um, Better than that is those the diary of Molly Perkins. It's a, a video interview with actress Molly Perkins. She discusses her contributions to shooting, the sh to the shooting and ride into the world, and her interactions with Jack Nicholson. Seventeen minutes, and these are all in uh, high def. Uh, Whoops and Jingles is a video interview with Will Hutchins, who played uh, Coley Boyard in the shooting. Uh, Blind Harry is an interview with uh, Harry Dean Stanton who played uh, Blind Dick and Ride in the Whirlwind. It's, that, that's a pretty minor interview and almost so short it's almost w not even worth including. Uh, the True Death of Leland Drum is a film conversation with director Monty Hellman and actors B.J. Merholz, who played Edgar, and John Hackett, who played Winslow, discussing uh, the shooting and Ride in the Whirlwind, and legendary wrangler Calvin Johnson's Invaluable Assistance. Uh, 17 Minutes is a good feature. Uh, Heart of Lightness is a film conversation with cameraman and assistant director Gary Kurtz, which is another really good one, very good on technical aspects. The Last Cowboy is a uh, featured on uh, the legendary Wrangler Calvin Johnson, who worked on uh, both films. And An American Original is a 
video appreciation of actor Warren Oates, who was the main, who was the star of uh, the shooting, and it's written and narrated by film critic Kim Morgan. Bar this feature, all of the other featurettes are subtitled. So. And then we have two uh, great commentaries, uh, one for each film, by uh, Monty Hellman and film historians Bill Crone and Black Lucas. I only l l watched the shooting one. Uh, I assume they're both going to be of the similar quality, though, and were shot together. Uh, very factual. It's about the production history. Really solid commentary, engaging, and uh, no lapses in the conversation. So uh, a good selection of uh, special features. Better than expected video and audio, nice package. Uh, the shooting is one of my all-time favorite westerns. It'll be my top ten westerns of all time. Right in the whirlwind. I don't. A lot of people think they're a really great pair. It's, apart from being shot together, I don't see the connection. Uh, really, it's a much more straightforward western. Uh, I know it has some uh, un more underpinning psychological value, but. It's nothing on the shooting. The shooting feels like it could be a really good episode of The Twilight Zone, uh, whereas Run the World plays it a lot straighter. Um, but it's still a good, really good western. Uh, it would be in my top uh, 40 westerns for sure. A great uh, double bill to pick up. It's the same price as a single Criterion release. And uh, don't worry about uh, compression. It's uh, two reasonably uh, swift films, 81 minutes and 82 minutes. Go get it.